Today we have different barbecue. We have this genius who is the best liar right now exists in the state. And, uh, you know, I mean, the Muslims, they think they are still living in the era where nobody knows about Islam no more. Likewise, like in the year 2000, when I was struggling to explain the garbage of Muhammad. They think they are still alive in that era where Americans do not know. So they think whatever they say, people they take and they accept and they believe and that's it. That's it. So look at the title, Islamic Hygiene and Modern Science. Is that true? Yes, brother. It's true. Yes, sir. When people, when they look at the words Islam and modern science, they may be thinking, you know, what is the connection? And why are we having this show, especially in these times in the age of coronavirus? Exactly. I mean, people, they will be wondering, like, what the connection, brother? But uh, Dr. Sabir is going to explain to you the connection. There's a lot of correction there. Okay, tell us about the connection. But in fact, inshallah, in this half an hour show, mm -hmm. you'll be amazed to find out. I'm amazed already. I'm, uh, are you kidding me? Out. That not only there is a connection, yeah. but I would say that uh, our modern science is catching up to the Islamic hygiene, eesh, is catching eesh. up to the Islamic etiquettes, Islamic solutions, preventive. Stop. 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 Islamic etiquette. It you what? Etiquette. Oh. I don't know what I will talk about Islamic etiquette. I have a lot of Islamic etiquette here in front of me. I mean, your Quran is full of it. Your Hadith is full of it. So, I mean, Islamic etiquette. Okay, what, tell us about the Islamic etiquette. Go ahead. Measures and recommendations. Mm -hmm. For all, any of all of these reasons, that's mm -hmm. the reason we are doing uh, today's uh, show, mm -hmm. which is uh, Islam and modern science right inshallah. inshallah and especially now with what's going on you know uh many of us are at home because of you know covid 19 the uh -huh. coronavirus mm -hmm. and let's take a look at what our faith has to say about hygiene and exactly. how it kind of you know compares with exactly. modern science and what mm -hmm. we are hearing currently from the cdc you know when it comes to islam islam gives a comprehensive way of life wow. and solutions to humanity uh, he has exactly you marry four wives, you do not need to cheat, brother. You marry four wives, and you can have in the top of them as many four as you want. And if they disobey you, you beat them. That's first the humanity. You know, I mean, the first aid is beating your wife. And then you beat your children. And then you beat yourself to remember what happened to Al-Hassan al Hussein. And then we do muta and have sex every day with the new women and get AIDS. And this is the hygiene. Okay, continue given us guidance of who is the creator, what is the purpose of life, what, is the what will happen What is the purpose of life, what is the purpose of life? According to the Quran, Allah said, the purpose of life, he created a human being and genie, which does not exist, I mean, what a genie? Many Christians, they think genie is a demon, because they are ignorant, uh, even those who claim to be priests. Genie is not a demon, Muslims don't believe in demon. Genie is a creature who can even have sex with Muslim women. He is made from fire and he is shaitan, so he is not a demon. Uh, uh, the Quran says the purpose of life let us switch to Arabic hold on sometime my keyboard is a stubborn you don't switch finally switch all right so why Allah created the what is the purpose of life this is, can be found in, 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 in the Quran, in chapter 51, verse number 56. It says, Allah, he did not create a human being and genie except to worship Allah alone. So whatever this guy, this fraud, he say, is a lie. This is the only purpose for Allah. No other purpose. Purpose of life, Allah is bored. He is a lonely God. He decided to create somebody to worship him alone. Nothing else, not like the God of the Christians, for God, he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, no. Allah is lonely, and it's boring. So he decided to create uh, people, and, uh, you know, uh, decide uh, you worship me. And not only that, Muhammad, he said in the hadith, that if you are not to commit sin, 
Allah will destroy you and will bring people better than you who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So committing sin is for the benefit of Allah. If you don't commit sin, this is the purpose of life. Allah, he want people to, to be to be exist real, real carefully. This is Muhammad speaking by him. In whose hand is my love? This is serious. Muhammad is swearing. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of the existence and he would replace you by those people who would commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So the whole point is of the existence in Islam for a human being. <laughs> You commit sin and please, Allah, God, Allah, forgive me, Allah, Allah, forgive me, please forgive me. And Allah sitting in his chair like, yeah, 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 big more, big more. <laughs> what a garbage cult. Tell us more, Sabir. Sabiro, tell us more about the purpose of life in Islam. Go ahead. In the hereafter, how can we go to paradise? How we can today go to we will just, you know, focus on the Islamic hygiene uh -huh. and the concept of the physical purity. Mm. You know, first and foremost, it says in the Quran, chapter number nine, verse mm. number 108, mm. that Allah loves those who purify themselves. Wonderful. Allah loves those who purify themselves. And how Allah, he purify, how the Muslim, they purify themselves by killing the Christian. Chapter nine, the same chapter. Chapter 9, verse number 29 says that Allah, he sent Muslims to do jihad and kill every single Christian and every single Jew. Either they convert to Islam or they die. And the Muslim who die purify themselves by the blood of the Christians. Do you see how those scammers, they, you know, they, they fool you? This is a chapter 9. This is one of the most ugliest chapters in the Quran. Teaching literally about exterminating the Christians as if they are rats or cats from this earth. And if you want to live as a Christian or a Jew, you have to pay them because Islam is nothing but a gang. But why you don't go now and tell us about the hygiene? The hygiene, I want to see the hygiene. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in one of his famous narrations, he said, right, mm -hmm. Yasser, you remember this from Sunday school? Do you remember it, Sunday school? Sunday school? They teach you this in Sunday school? Uh, neither you remember it from Sunday school? Uh, Sunday school. The cleaning is half of the faith. First of all, first of all, that's a lie. That's a lie. I, I'm not I'm saying Muhammad is lying. I'm saying this. this is a lie. Because the cleaning have nothing to do with faith. There is people who they are prostitutes, who they don't only clean themselves, they take a shower with perfume. What does it have to do with faith? There is atheists who they are very clean. What does it have to do with, with, with faith? And there is people who they are homeless, but they believe in God more than all of us. And they did not take a shower for a year. And actually, the Messiah, he said, it's not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty. It's what come out from your mouth. And this is very logical. So your prophet is saying something, nothing to do with the truth. Faith and being a clean have nothing to do with each other. However, we will go with this lie. Was Muhammad a clean? Let us see if he was a clean. Yes, I do remember. Yeah. I do remember. Me too. Mm -hmm. Cleanliness is half of the faith, right? So if you are a clean, it's half of the faith. So if you don't, if you are not a clean, that's mean we strip you from your faith. Fair? Is that correct, guys? He, he's the one who said that. If you are not a clean, that's mean half of your faith is gone. That's horrible. Because Muhammad not only wasn't a clean, Muhammad was extremely filthy. I will play a little bit, and then we will show our reference so everybody will laugh at this madness and the, and the lies they say. Wow, cleanliness is half of the faith. So wow. that's how much adamant Islam is exactly. uh, about mm -hmm. keeping ourselves clean. Mm -hmm. But cleanliness itself is attached to paradise. Mm -hmm. There is a saying of Muhammad, peace be upon him, that the key to paradise is prayer and the key to prayer is purification. Okay, here we stop. I mean, that's it. So how the Prophet of Allah, he do purification... Remember, the key to paradise is a purification, a prayer. And the key of, 
of the prayer is a purification. So you cannot go to paradise unless you are pure. And he is trying to tell us over here, the word the pure is about physically pure. Hygiene, remember, the whole topic is about what is hygiene. So how the prophet he used to clean himself, uh, uh, Dr. Sabil uh, 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 Ahmed? If I ask you this question, mm. that what is the number one recommendation Center for Disease Control has for individuals? What, what? What would you say? What would you say? It is to wash your hands. Wash your hands. Hand washing, according to CDC, is the single most important means of preventing the spread of infection. Oh, but I mean, this is bad. I mean, here you are getting, you are get, you are, you are getting my nerve. So this is the way to prevent. Was Muhammad washing hands, brother? Muhammad was not washing hands. Let us see some hadith. As long, I, actually, I wasn't uh, uh, expecting him to. Talk. I did not watch the whole video. I just saw saw some of it. I like I, I move it around. But as long he mentioned this, okay. Let us see if Muhammad used to wash his hands. All right, all right. Muhammad used to wash his hands. Are you sure, brother? Are you sure, brother? Okay. The messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, took flesh from the bone or meat. And then he offered the prayer when he did not perform a pollution. And he did not touch water. Do you see it, Dr. Sabil Potato? So why you are lying to us, saying to us, the prophet said, the prophet said, the prophet said, when the prophet is dirty, according to you, to stop corona, the simple rule is to wash your hands. You're a prophet, and not only that, you are the one who said, the way of heaven is a prayer and a purity. And here we go, you're a prophet, he is not washing hands, and he is not doing a pollution, which means he is not being a pure. He did not even touch the water. Are you going to say to me, this is a, the da'if? No, you cannot. A second ago, you told the guy, this is hadith from Muslim, so you accept Muslim, and this is Sahih Muslim. Hmm? So look at those liars. They give you a speech about washing their hands, and their best clean man, supposedly he is the last one to wash his hands. Not only he don't wash his hand, I mean, this guy, he just ate meat. And not only that, he did not perform a pollution to go to pray, but he told the Muslim, you have to do that. So him, he, do the, he doesn't do that. So look how they lie. They say the prophet says, wash your hand, but the prophet don't wash his hands. Let us see if I can find different hadith, because there's tons of them. I mean, just to refresh your memory, let me first uh, pause this link for you guys. Uh, always, if you want to have a link, I, I like I, I, or, or something I show, in the screen and did not post it you can just search for the same words actually here we go the, the admin is posting thank you first okay that's good let us see another hadith i will try to find it in english first let us see i don't know if i can find it in english english ah uh, we found it in english hold on me uh, no, this is not the one. No, no this, this is not the one we want. Yeah, this is not the one. No, look like we cannot find it in this one in English. Um, let us see if we can find this one. <clears throat> Oh boy. Oh boy. Allah Messenger SAWFM short wave long wave FM AM used to sleep in the state of sexual impurity without touching water. Do you see it? Who said that? Aisha. Oh oh. <laughs> Another hadith. Ibn Abbas narrated narrated that it is in the authority of Maimuna, another Muhammad, he has tons of women he slept with. So all of them, they are first-hand experts. They saw Muhammad naked, they knew what he do. Uh, Allah Apostle was given a towel, but he did not rub his body with it. 
but he did not like this this would water I eat he took it off <laughs> Allah Messenger would sleep when he is junub, which means he after having sex, he is still an inipure, he is najis, filthy, and without touching water, performing ghusl. This is a turmudi, a turmudi. This is a nasai. Narrated by Ibn Abbas that the Prophet performed ghusl what uh, clothes was brought to him let us see uh, uh, this is not the one we are looking for okay hold on uh, so he go to sleep uh, this one they will say to you is daif so we have to show them the one is a strong already we showed you a strong one but this is daif brother <laughs> The Prophet, he go to bed and he sleep and he is filthy najis. And clean. Uh, <clears throat> this one is Da'if too. Hold on. Because you know, they will say it's Da'if. Ah, this is Sahih Muslim. They cannot say this is Da'if. See, this is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 3, 5, 4. Uh, this is different one. This is Sahih. This is Sahih, brother. Uh, it narrated by Umm Salam, another, another woman he slept with, that the message of Allah uh, at meet for, from a shoulder. I think you want to say eight, eight what? Hold on, I see the Arabic. Uh, yeah, uh, he ate. This is a stupid uh, error in the. He ate meat. And then Bilal come to him and he went out to pray. He did not touch the water. So always Muhammad, he get out after eating or sex without touching water. Uh, let us see. Another hadith. And this is Sahih. The message of Allah, he sleep while he is sexual, the field, without touching water. Abu Dawood has said blah, 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 blah. Okay, they say this is a Sahih. Huh. Sahih. So those people, they are giving us example about Muhammad saying, wash your hands. But the fact Muhammad, as you see, he don't wash his hand, not before eating, not after eating, and not before sex and not after sex. Actually, some hadith says that sometime Muhammad, he sleep with all his wives and he would do one wash. All the women, imagine how filthy he is. All the women. So those people, when they try to fool you, speaking about Islamic hygiene, Muhammad is extremely filthy. Imagine yourself, you are a woman and you have a husband, God forbid, who have 13 wives. Hmm? And then he don't wash, sleeping with one after one. Let us see the hadith about that to confirm what we are saying. It was narrated from Anas ibn Malik that the Messenger of Allah, PBUH, calcium, magnesium, went around all his wives and with only one performed ghusl. Went around, this is not a really good translation, it's about having sex with them. Hmm? Read carefully. You see the trans. I mean the same hadith. Look, look how the Muslim they hide the story. In the the one before it, they did not say intercourse. It says uh, go around. The second, the one after it, depending on the translate translator, how honest he is. He used to have intercourse with his wives one after one with a single bathing, which means after he finished at the end, he do a bath. So if one of them she have corona. The rest would have corona. If one of them she have AIDS, the rest would have AIDS. If one of them she have sexual disease, the rest would have sexual disease. Whatever you name it. And yet those liars in their videos they say to us the prophet he says wash your hands. But as you see he don't wash his hands. What else? This is modern science. We know this. Yeah. According to the germ 
theory of infection developed in 1909. Uh -huh. This is the recommendation that the best way to prevent the spread of germs from human to human, obviously you have to cover ourselves and we have to Okay, hold on, hold on. Did, did he say cover yourself? Later they will say to you maybe, I'm not sure, I did not see the whole video, uh, uh, that the Prophet said, uh, cover your, your, your mouth. Uh, Muhammad, he said that because he, he told the Muslims, Shaitan will jump inside your mouth and he will laugh at you. Uh, let us see. Uh, <laughs> because I'm sure he will say to you, cover your mouth. The Prophet, he said, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Prophet said, when you, you sneeze, cover your mouth. I saw an article about it, by the way, and they are saying, look what the prophet, he is saying, cover your mouth. Uh, here we go. But look at the fabrication. For them, they claim that this is because of hygiene. When Muhammad saying that shaitan, the reason for that, read carefully. The messenger of Allah said that the sneeze is from Allah. Look at this madness. With Allah, if, if you sneeze, Allah will spread corona. Those idiots, they are telling us how to fight Corona, Quran, Corona. And yet, their prophet saying that is sneezing is from Allah. Actually, the whole idea of wearing a mask, that you will not transform your saliva by sneezing to others. But Muhammad saying, no. Sneezing is from Allah. And yawning is, yawning is from shaitan. Do you see how they flip the truth upside down? Do you, do you see it? Because I'm sure now he will say to you, the prophet, he says, cover your mouth. Let us see if he will say that. To make sure we constantly wash our hands. Mm. So this is what Islam says. Mm -hmm. And these are all coming from the Quran, which is the word of Allah, or from the sayings of Muhammad, peace be upon him. That right after we wake up from the sleep, we just don't want to go to the internet and start working. This is from the Quran? The Quran says that? Oh, okay. Not even praying. Even before praying, mm -hmm. we are supposed to go and wash our hands. We are supposed to. Where this is coming from? From the Quran, the Hadith. Okay, can you show us? So look at this. Mm -hmm. CDC in the 21st century, mm -hmm. Islam, Muhammad peace be upon him, way back in the 7th century. We just showed you Muhammad, he go even have sex with all his wives without washing. He don't even wash his penis. We show you that your prophet, he never touched the water with his hand even after eating and before eating. So what are you talking about? And not only that, your prophet encouraging Muslim to sneeze, saying that it's sneezing from Allah. What else? Right. Alhamdulillah. The number two recommendation to prevent diseases mm -hmm. or the infection or the coronavirus mm -hmm. is the lockdown, right? Stay at home. Lockdown. Ah, lockdown. Okay. They will say to you that the prophet says, if you, there is a, a epidemic, don't enter there and don't leave there. But Muhammad, he said that disease, they don't spread by from person to person. Let us show you how Muhammad, the idiot, how he can destroy mankind if they follow his teaching. Is that your prophet saying that diseases don't spread? Muslim transmitted the same hadith in the authority of Ibn Abbas, the messenger of Allah, forbidden it and had additional phrase of every word. Uh, no, no, this is not the one. Uh, here we go. This is the one. The messenger of Allah they said, there is no infection and no evil omen, but there is nothing that may be a source of a trouble. Then it could be in the house, a house or a horse, a woman. Your prophet don't believe in infection, as you see. There's no infection. 
If somebody says to you there's infection, Muhammad says this is a lie. It's a lie. Do you see it? And this is Sahih Muslim, so you don't say this is weak. There is no trans transitive disease and no divination, but good omen pleases me. It was said that was what was good omen, he said. Uh, se uh, sacred words. <laughs> so look at the madness and look at the stupidity. Muhammad, he told them that there is nothing is called transmitted the disease. It does not exist. It's not true. For Allah, he made the one he wants sick. The Muslim believe in destiny. Allah, he made the one who you want to be sick, sick. And Allah, he want the one who would want him to be healthy, healthy. And transmitted disease does not exist. But this guy now will quote for us saying the following. So every single state, every single city, almost all the countries in the world, they are in a state of lockdown. You know, if you look at the history of uh, the infections, uh, initially in the Western countries, this is Europe, right? I'm just going to spend maybe two, three minutes on this. One of the biggest calamity in the history of humanity, it happened uh, in 1347 in Europe, known as the Black Death. That, 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 that's false, that's false. You see the Muslims, when they quote for you numbers, because nobody counting the numbers in the Middle East. As an example right now, if you go and check in Egypt how many cases they have, they will tell you we have 20. If you go to Iran, they will say we have 3,000. But everybody knows that hundreds of thousands are dying there. Those countries, they never share the truth and nobody even count their numbers and nobody accept their numbers. If we go right now, he will say to you that Europe was infected. This is true. But actually, in the Middle East, in Islamic countries, disaster hit extremely, including the city of Medina, which Muhammad, the false prophet, he promised that his God, Allah, said the city will never have a plague or transmitted disease. For simply, he belong, belong in, he don't believe in transmitted disease anyway. Look what he said. Uh, the hadith said, Mawutan uh, Dharian, let us see. Read carefully. They lie to say to you, we have history recording what happened in Europe because Europe is a very important location and nobody cares really what happened in the Middle East. But this is your Islamic books. Once I went to Medina where there was an outbreak of disease and people were dying rapidly. I was sitting with Omar and a funeral processing passed by. The people praised the disease, Omar said, it was being affirmed, paradise. Then another funeral passing by. Look how many funerals, one after one, one after one, one after one. After one. People are dying left and right. And those liars, they say to us, oh, in Europe, in Europe, because the European are not following Prophet Muhammad, they were dying. You know, you idiot. Until now, the population of Saudi Arabia is not even 20 million, including the foreign employees. What happened to them? Where, they are, where are they? Why the number of the population of Saudi Arabia? It's in, almost in the size of Europe. One million kilometer. Where is the population? The answer is there. Either by diseases or by war, for the Muslims cannot live in peace and they kill each other as usual. Now, let us cut the crap. I'm not going to uh, play the rest of his video. As long as he speak about washing, let me move a little bit where he speak about washing so we can, I mean, I'm not going to wash the whole thing. I want to see the advice, the advice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We got you busted in this one. Your prophet don't believe in, in, uh, in such a thing. Go a trillion grams and okay. 100,000 spices of bacteria and fungus or, what or anything else any various types of bacteria from the hair from the top of our head all the way to the big toe and the nails right of the big toe we are teeming with bacteria i mean not to scare anybody that's how it is every single animal every single tree every single rock rock for example the whole earth 
and yes, the human bodies. This is the way the creator has made it. But not every bacteria is a bad bacteria, right? Mm -hmm. Many of them are bacteria which are beneficial to us. There are mm. many which are living inside our gut. Mm. So these are all healthy bacteria, but mm. then they are also harmful bacteria. Where we can find so the bad bacteria? What is the solution? What is the preventive measure that what? Islam has given to us? Give us, tell us, please. So let's proceed really quickly. Then we want to take as many questions as possible from mm. our mm. our listeners, right? Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Now our hair itself, our head, our hair. You know, if we don't take care of our hair. Hair loss can be, you know, infection and coarse or thin hair, stunt in hair growth. All of this happens mm -hmm. if we don't properly cleanse and or comb our hair. This is just a fact. Mm. Hair. Question, Dr. Sabir. Was your prophet infected with lice? Let us see the hadith and then we will know what was happening to the hair of the prophet. Because as we knew, that lice is a very harmful creatures who they transmit disease to you and in the same time they destroy your the skin of your head and you will lose your hair so let us see what muhammad was suffering from let us see how clean his hair was clean. let us see Uh, the hadith is the first one, but I'm trying to uh, search for the. Let us see. Let us read the first one. It's okay. Hmm. Read with me, brother. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Ishaq, from, 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 from Anas ibn Malik said, When the Messenger of Allah, may Allah I pray on him and salute him, grant him peace, uh, okay, went uh, to Qibla, visit Uzvit or Muharram. So he visited this woman and she fed him. Umm Haram was the wife of Obada ibn as -Samt. One One day, or a summit, one day the Messenger of Allah, may Allah please with him, grant him peace. He called her, he called on her. She fed him and she sat down to delose his hair. To do what? To take the lies from your prophet hair. And you are telling us about how to keep our hair healthy. And you are saying that most of the bacteria is in the hair because we are not keeping our you know, hair healthy. So what about a person who his head is full of lies? And by the way, not only Muhammad was full of lies. All the Muslims in the time of Muhammad, they were full of lies. If I type this the word Qamil, which means lies. Here, you will see endless, endless hadith huh? about Muslims are infected with lice. Look, the lice is fading over their face. Do you see it? Do you see it? Hmm? All of this about lice. All of this. All of them, they are infected heavily with lice. That is telling us how clean they used to be. Actually, Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he targeted the Prophet with lice. Hmm? Look how many hadith. I can show you thousands of them. Look, all of those I can just scroll down. All of it is nothing but about lies. Have these lies troubled you? <laughs> oh boy. Oh <clears> boy. <throat> Let me find you the hadith about Allah. He target the prophets by lies. But let me see if I can find it first in English. 
Uh, there's a hadith where a man he put his hand over Muhammad and Muhammad having a very tough fever corona and the lice is all over him let us see hmm. yeah it look like we will not find it in English let us see <clears throat> maybe maybe this one let us see I hope all of you will download this video and share it with your friends because those liars they are trying to deceive as many as they can and we have a duty we have a duty to expose them here we go uh, here we go this is one of the hadith this is sahih as you see sahih they cannot say it's weak. And a man he entered Abu enter enter to Muhammad and he have he placed his hands on him. It says here Abu Sa'id al Khadari reported that he came to the Messenger of Allah and while he had a fever. So who is the one who have a fever? Muhammad. He had a covering cover him and he placed his hand on him and discovered that it was hot above the covering. Even the cover is so hot above the covering. Imagine Abu Sa'id explained how hot you are, your favor messenger of Allah. Like the guy, like, what? You are so hot, man. He said, We are like that. The affliction is so hard on us. But the reward is double for us. He said, Messenger of Allah, which people have greatest affliction. He said, Muhammad saying, the prophets, the prophets, and then the righteous. So Muhammad is not righteous. The prophet are not righteous. Because if the prophet are righteous, then you don't say the prophet and the righteous. The prophet and the righteous one. One of them was tested by poverty. So the righteous are tested by poverty. In such an extent, he only find a rope to cover himself. And the other one, he was tested by fleas. This is the prophet. Until they killed him. Do you see it? In different hadith in Arabic, it says, Inna ma'asharul anbiya yudha'ifulana al-bala. We, the prophet, Allah, he increase the trouble on us and what is the trouble al qaml and the hadith in arabic actually but as you see i cannot find it here uh, but it is here in the front of me i found it in arabic it's the same actually it's the same hadith but here it says it clearly that we the prophet allah he increase our trouble and one of the prophet, one of us, the prophet, he will be trouble with the, the fleas until the fleas killed him. Here in the translation, they changed the, the, the translation. And I cannot find in English the same exact thing as you see. If I, if I, uh, if I translate to English, let us see if I can translate to English, hold on, in the front of your eyes. You will see it says that the prophet are troubled with Google saying translate from Swedish. What's Swedish? This is Swedish now for you. Stupid Google. Stupid Google. To choose another language. Okay. Arabic. Google figure out that uh, Arabic is a Swedish. Hmm. Yeah. And he is now translating Swedish to Arabic. What? I know what's happening. Choose another language. No, translate to English, man. Anyway, like, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, I mean, 
English, English. Where is the English? Okay, English. And let me switch, translate. And how we change this Swedish thing? I don't know. How in the world I, I am stuck with the Swedish? Why it says Swedish? Choose translate to Swedish. Never translate to Swedish. Never translate the seed. This page is not Swedish. <laughs> okay, finally. <laughs> All right. Finally, we got the correct language. All right. Look what the Google translation said. The man, he put his hand in the prophet, and he found him have a very high fever. And the prophet said, Verily, O prophet, double us of our affliction, double, and double reward for the prophet. Even to the point that the prophet are killed by the affliction with lies. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is Google translation. So those idiots, they are teaching us about hair loose, it is because of bacteria. If you don't have healthy hair because you have bacteria, we are talking about lies. Your prophet is full of lies. And yet they are giving us speeches about how to clean yourself from bacteria. There's healthy bacteria and bad bacteria. Let us move a little bit, see if you want to give us more advice. It's proper hygiene of Pro the head, of the hair, and proper combing and proper washing. Uh -huh. And obviously, when we Muslims, uh, when we do the abolition five times a day, mm. we also cleanse our hair, right? We do. Mm. So not only mm. we are supposed to properly keep our hair nice and clean by combing, mm. we are supposed to actually cleanse our hair, at least, yes, when we do the mask. That's, that's, that's a lie, because whip, wh wiping your hand over your hair will not clean it. Now, let me, let, me, let, let me spank you and your ass, you idiot. Let me use the word ass because you deserve it. This is how your prophet, he clean himself, and this is how you Muslims follow his steps. You are a big fat liar and you have no dignity. This is how Muhammad, he clean himself. And I challenge any Muslim to make a video, and I challenge this filthy idiot liar, to make a video to teach us how the prophet was doing this. Muhammad is having a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period. And as you see, all of this is sahih. I passed by the Prophet of Allah. Is this hadith is weak? No, sahih. And this is the hadith number, as you see in the screen. I passed by the Prophet when he was performing wudu. What wudu mean? Ablution. From the will of Bida, the will of Bida is not really a will. It's a, like a, it's a it's a it's a hole where it's called Bida, which means garbage. It's a Bida. And look what the guy said to him. Confirm what I'm saying. Are you? The Muslim guy was walking by. Hmm? Are you performing a pollution? from it when garbage was thrown in it and in fact it doesn't say garbage it says and nothing and nothing what is not nothing nothing the stinky things which mean not only garbage because garbage they don't stink right away you, you know what i mean if you throw some food it doesn't stink right away it doesn't say in arabic garbage it says the stink here we go the arabic in the front of me i change any muslim to say it's a lie and nothing so he asked him, you are doing this? And based on the Muslim translation, Muhammad is taking a shower literally with garbage. In other hadith, they explain more how dirty this thing is. Look what it says. People ask Messenger of Allah, can we perform a pollution out of the will of Buddha, which is will in two, which menstrual clothes and dead dogs and the stinky things were thrown in. He replied, water is pure and nothing make it any pure. So you see it? And this is Sahih. So this liar, he is teaching you hygiene of Islam. Please call us, ask him. I wish I know that this program when it was live, so we will call him. I will be happy to call him. The coward, the liar. This is how your prophet, he take hygiene seriously. 
and we are talking about how because the Muslim they might say to you it's a well of water the water is running this is not running water this is why they are throwing garbage this is a water coming from outside this is sewage water let's say water come out from the houses go to a lower spot in this in the town and that is Rubida. it is not a well where people take water from it and remember this is Mecca then you know this is the desert they will never throw garbage in a good water which they can drink the water issue there is a serious serious issue nobody will misuse the water because they are in the desert people used to go and have war over a spring of water if there's somebody have a water or well of water so this is at the garbage place where garbage water come in and here you will see even the muslim they measure it for us and i'm very thankful for them because muslim can say oh it was big oh it was in the high size of swimming pool look how big it is and this is sahih Hadith Abu Dawood, Abu Dawood, Hadith number 67. I measured the breadth of the well of Bida, which with my sheet, this is how easy his, his uh, you know, his, his own clothing. I stretch over it, I then measure it with the hand. It measured 60 cubit in a breadth. And I, then I asked the man who opened the door in the garden. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a person who is there, you know. He said, oh, what, about, he asked him about the condition of this well. Does it change from the original as it used to be in the past? He said, no. And he said, I saw the color of the water of this well had it changed. It's a bad water. So it's a small jacuzzi, little tiny jacuzzi, and it's full of what? The same page it says to us. I heard that Allah, uh, the, the people asked the Prophet, water is brought for you from the well of Bida, which dead dogs and menstrual clothes, an experiment of people are thrown in. The messenger said, water, verily, verily, water is pure, nothing make it impure. This is the one you are asking me to follow so we can fight coronavirus. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Sabir? A man who is showering with dead dogs. A man who don't wash after sex or before sex. A man who don't wash his hands.